Hello everyone, welcome to this video. This video will be talking about JavaScript conditional statements or um, if statements. So let's begin. A conditional statement or an if statement is what you would use when you want to test out certain conditions. So let me explain that. By what I mean testing out certain conditions, um, you might want to present your code or build your code to say if one situation happens then print this or else print something else so let me go ahead and open up my code and we can um, we can go over that now so I have an HTML document I named it if dot HTML and in that, as we've been doing in our previous JavaScript codes, I've been embedding JavaScript code in an HTML document. So let's go ahead and open up this document, open it up as a text file. So we just right click it, get, the, get our menu, and then from here we find whatever text editor we want to open it in, and then we just left click it. All right, so here's our HTML document. It is open. So the first thing we want to do is in the body, we want to go ahead and create um, a paragraph or a sentence that says click the button to get a time-based greeting. Okay, let me go ahead and make that a little larger for some of you guys here. So what we do is we create a button. We can create a button with a HTML tag button and then we close it with an HTML tag button. Now let me go over this. On click is a variable and this is a JavaScript variable. Now it's not within the JavaScript the uh, the JavaScript tags but you can still make a button that will go ahead and once you click it it will present whatever you want it to click. So in this one we have the variable on click equals and then my time function so what this is is this a uh, this is a function that will present the time of the day depending on how we want it and the rest of our our code which we'll go over in just a moment so we have a button and then we just have in that button we got it named try it right and then of course we got our paragraph tag ID and we named it time right so let's go into our JavaScript uh, script code okay so as normal as we've been doing it in our other uh, videos you create the, the script tag and then you close the script tag okay and then whatever you have in between that that's where you're gonna put your JavaScript so for this we created a function we called the function my time okay and then we give it two parentheses and then an open squiggly bracket and then a final close squiggly squiggly bracket and let me see it is right here okay so let's go over the code so we got the function and what we did was we created a variable with the variable keyword var right and then we named it greeting now pay attention to this we did not give it a value yet we'll go through that in just a moment we created another variable and we named that one time that's going to gather our time and then we gave it the value new date dot get hours all this means is is just get the current hours at the time that we run this function okay then after that we start our conditional statement with the conditional statement we have if right so as I was saying earlier you do if something happens then print this if that doesn't happen then print something else so with our conditional statement our if statement in parentheses right we have our time variable and we say here here's our operator okay it's the less than operator and we say 
if it's less than 10, meaning 10 a.m., okay, and then we got an open parenthesis and a closed parenthesis, we say print this greeting, which we give the value good morning. So, right now it says if the time is less than 10 a.m., then print good morning. Okay, and then we close that. Let me go ahead and make this like this so that you can see it a little better. Now, how's that? Now, and then from there we go on. Oops, we go on and then we say else if. We say good morning if it's less than 10 a.m. If it's more than 10 a.m., we, we, ten, we print else if the time is less than 2,000 hours, that's military time, or if it's less than 8 p.m., which is the civilian equivalent of 2,000 hours. If it's less than 8 p.m., then print the greeting, good day. Okay? And so then we got one more. Okay? And then we can, if it's past 8 p.m. in the evening, if this is not true, then we print else greeting should be good evening. All right? And so then we have that. And then we have one more statement. We have we have the uh, method document.getElementById. And remember, guys, you have to type this exactly as it is here. All right? This is your JavaScript method or function. Okay? And it's just document.get large E for element, large B for by, large I for ID. And then you put in the ID that you're looking for on your web page, which we named it time here which means it will, if we scroll back up on the web page, it'll show up right there. Okay? And then we got dot, and then we have our last um, property, which is enter HTML equals, and then the greeting, the, uh, gre the function name greeting, which is right there. Okay? And then we close our script, close our body, and close the HTML document. All right. So, how does that finally how does all that work? Well, since our function name is my time, what we're going to do after we create this, we need a way of calling it, right? So, you call a function up here in the button. That's what the my time here is. That's our function that we're calling. So, we build the function and then we create a way of calling the function. I hope that makes sense to you guys, okay? All right. And yes, this this um, this code as well as all of the other codes from the previous videos will be I will provide a link for it in the description and you can download it and you can go over it with this video if you like. Okay? So, let's go ahead and save this. Right? We'll minimize it. And then what we'll do to open it up in a browser, if you, you can either right click and choose the browser that you want to open this up under, or if you just double click it, for most systems, it should just open it up in the browser, the default browser that you have for your system. All right. But in either case, let's just go ahead and open it up in our browser. I'll just go ahead and do it by double clicking on it with the left mouse button. Okay. So, as you can see, it says here, click the button to get the time-based greeting, okay? There's my button right there. If you go down to the bottom right-hand side, as you can see, it is Wednesday 26, so it says 7, 11 p.m. So, according to the software, okay, since it is past 10 a.m., but it is before 8 p.m., okay, it should say, good day. 
If it was past 8 a.m., it would say good evening. If it was before 10 a.m., it would say good evening. But it should say good day. So let's minimize that. Go back over it. Click the button. And it says good day. All right. So that's what we were looking for. It's before 8 p.m. So it says good day. All right. And so that's how you create a conditional statement to uh, run this over and over again. You have to refresh the uh, page again. And then you just click it again. Refresh the page. Click it again. Anyway, that's how you do a, a, a basic um, conditional statement or an if statement in JavaScript. So, I hope you learned something today. I hope we do, uh, taught you something that you wanted to know. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and you have a good day. Bye-bye.